Hello YouTube, this is Aman Juman from Techist365. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to extend your Linux volume. So this is very com common case like when you're going to extend your volume from AWS or Linoid or DigitalOcean, some case it, it didn't automatically extend by itself. Some case you need to extend by it manually. So this is how people get confused like there's a bunch of tutorials available over the internet but most of the case uh, is uh, not going to support it by uh, your operating system or or specifically your case. So I'm going to show this tutorial mostly based on like AWS, DigitalOcean, Linoid, Volta uh, or if you use VMware then it's also going to be applied for you. So this is a one Linux server that I created few minutes ago. So it's actually created from a VMware template and the initial template was like 250 gigabytes of storage, but I had to extend it to 552. So now uh, I had to extend it from the Linux system as well. So let's just start actually. So if I type DF, so it can show you how much storage you allocated. Okay, let's read it in human readable format. So now as you can see, it's uh, almost 250 gigabytes of storage allocated in here. So first I'm going to check that if I have ex additional space already available with this uh, VM. So to check that, CF DISK. So as you can see, uh, first option is boot menu, then other Linux system and that's actually the main Linux system, which I have like 248 gigabytes, it's actually 250 gigabytes allocated and also I have additional storage allocated but I mean assigned but not uh, merged with the existing one. So now our task is to uh, merge both of them and extend the disk. So I wish if we have the system like Windows, like you can just mm, like extend over dragging over your mouse and uh, let, let it hover there and that's how you're going to do it. But let's do it in here. So as you can see, I selected the free space and you can see new quite help write dump. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the 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 one I like to attach the disk. So here you can see delete resize quit. So basically we're gonna do resize. So that means you have to press R. So now it says new size is 510. Then it, it's already G there, so just you're gonna just press enter. So now it's showing 510. So now we need to confirm it. So to confirm it, we need to press W because we need to write. So we're going to type W. Actually, we need to use your keyboard array and change it to W and press enter. It says, are you sure you want to write the partition table to disk? type yes or no so I'm gonna type yes so partition table has been altered now we're gonna quit so basically here and quit so now we're gonna check uh, so we extended our disk so there's a other task we need to continue in order to get everything sorted out so if we check DFH again it's not yeah, to 500 gigabytes. So, if we check CFD, we can see it's already attested there. So, we need to tell the Linux system that uh, we extended the storage. So, let's do it. So, in in here, CFD, as you can see, we extended dev uh, SDA3. So, we're going to note this. You can actually copy. So now what we're going to do, we're going to type PV resize 
then we're going to just copy paste whatever we had before dev sd3 so it says one physical volume resized or updated so that means we updated few minutes ago now we can check pv display we can confirm that okay is allocated i mean uh, allocatable and is uh, updated already so now we're going to check volume group so vg display sorry here we can see volume group name is ubuntu vg so we're going to note this and we will use it later so it seems yeah now we need to extend the, the volume group name so if we type dfh you can see volume group name was uh, is assigned to this location so we're gonna remember this location actually so now what we're gonna do lv then we're gonna type extend then l minus l then plus 100 percent free then we're gonna just copy this whole string then press enter so now the logical volume is successfully resized so now if we check logical volume display lv we can see that uh, is 510 gigabytes so now we are going to check actual volume dfh now you can see oh it is not yet done we need to execute one more step so now we are going to do pre size to fs then we gonna copy the whole string then enter here then press enter now we are done finally so if we type dfh you able to see now it's added to the x uh, the previous leftover storage so now it's in total it's like 500 something like that 510 or 20 something like that so this is how you're going to extend your uh, disk volume if you like this if you if this help help you don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you